you do this before you play, you'll actually be a bit relieved. And the best thing about this is you can do this whenever you want. You can do it before, you can do it at home before you go to bed, because you're just trying to relieve stress in the body. Foot equal to the other, equal to the first foot. Up, a foot, back up, up. And you're trying to keep where it is and stable. I'm not trying to go slosh in this way or forward and backwards. I'm trying to keep it nice and engaged where it is. Straighten out the leg. Harder resistant bands. A lot of the pros will just use black bands. There's not light, medium, extra heavy. It's all pretty much extra heavy because they just want it quick. The one is squeezing up, hold, one, two, three, back down. Come across your body. As you see, the leg that's not in action, so right now it's my right leg, you will feel this in your lower back. It's really important that we stretch our lower back and warm up our lower back. Injury prevention. I've had seven surgeries on all parts of my body, my ankles, my knees, my shoulder, and through the years I've accumulated loads of information as well as I'd say that this is gonna be a master class that will absolutely aid your professionalism, which helps you go to the next level. Um, we're gonna go through the exercises, loads of information. This is stuff that the best professional trainers in the world are using. This is stuff the best players in the world are using. So this is, this is fantastic stuff. I'm gonna start with the tennis ball. This innocent, soft, cushy thing can be used to bring the most pain possible to the body. Or we can use that as a massage. So we talk about foam rollers. Well, a tennis ball, a lacrosse ball, or a softball can be used to get into tighter areas. A trigger point activation, um, we're gonna go over what it's used for in terms of massaging the foot, which as soccer players, we need, obviously, big pieces of you know, comfortability amongst our feet because we wear different types of cleats, which will affect our body differently. So we'll go over the tennis ball today. Here we are with the bands. These are resistant bands. We have light, medium, extra, extra heavy for the big boys. Because as we build from light to medium to, to extra hard or extra heavy, you're talking about strength work, you're talking about band work, and the band work's really important for us as soccer players. Resistance in terms of injury prevention with knees, with our ankles, with our hips, these things will bulletproof your body before the session begins. Last two that we have here, this is a resisted strap. And we can do all sorts of stuff with this, uh, with our hamstrings, with different muscle groups to help build resistance, whether it's with a partner, with a pole, whatever it is, to aid us in obviously locking in our body before the session. And then this is a stretch out strap. We use it predominantly for stretching in awkward parts to kind of get our core, our trunk, to help bulletproof your body. All right, most people go to massage therapists and they will cover all aspects of your body. But for us soccer players, unfortunately, it can be expensive and it can be quite difficult um, in terms of asking them to manage certain parts of your body that are hurting. We don't realize how much we use our feet. So what we're going to do is we're gonna start with a tennis ball because it's softer and we're going to massage or roll up and down our feet or, or your foot in three different areas. So on the outside, or sorry, the inside, the middle, and the outside. And the goal of this is to go eight to 10 times up and down, depending on your comfort. You're trying to smooth out the bottom of your foot. We don't realize how tense our feet get, but after 90 minutes, after every day of training, things like this go a long way, just like foam rolling would be, whether it's your hips, your calves, any part of your body is so important, but we don't do our feet nearly enough and we don't take care of ourselves the way we should. So, I'm gonna show you what this looks like. As you see, I'm gonna start in the middle. I'm just gonna put the pressure on the ball and I'm slowly going to roll just to see how my feet are feeling. There's certain parts that will be tighter. You can manage it if you wanna stay there and roll it a little harder, a little faster. Just try and roll it out as they say. No pun intended, all right? So I'm gonna go a couple times in the center. And what I'm doing is I'm just feeling out the tighter areas of my foot. And as I build comfort, I'm trying to relax my foot while I put pressure on it as I go up and down. And you know what? Sometimes you're just gonna have to hold it if it's really tight. And you'll know if it's tight, hold it. 
and try and release and relax and slowly move it. The slower it is, the deeper the stretch, the deeper the massage. You have different types of massages. You have Swedish massage, then you have deep tissue massage, then you have sports massage for, for athletes. Sports massage therapists, they really like to dig in. They like to go through different stretches while they put you in uncomfortable situations. This for soccer players will aid you in relieving the pressure from your feet. Less pressure, better play. Less pressure, faster, quicker, more comfort. But biggest thing, less pressure, less tense, less tightness, injury prevention. And this is really important before you start and play. If you do this before you play, you'll actually be a bit relieved. And the best thing about this is you can do this whenever you want. You can do it before, you can do it at home before you go to bed, because you're just trying to relieve stress in the body. Less stress in the body, the happier we are as soccer players. All right, that's good for me. I'm gonna go on the inside now. And I'm just gonna manage, obviously, the balance. Like right there is quite tight. So I'm gonna dig in. Sometimes you may need to hold onto a wall or a pole or a teammate, which is completely acceptable and understanding and you just dig in. Now again, this is a tennis ball. So other things you can use, lacrosse ball, which is a lot harder and smaller, or perhaps a soft ball, which is bigger and hard as well. Just depends on your comfort level and what you're willing to put yourself through. 